name is Jenna Ruth, and I am a real-time visual effects artist at Insomniac Games. Um, I got into doing real-time effects. It's been sort of a, a little bit of a roundabout journey. Um, so I've always been an artist, and in college, I did a lot of uh, oil painting. Um, but I, I discovered after graduating that, well, you know, I love this art thing, but how can I really, um, you know, make a living out of it? Which is how I discovered 3D art. And um, so I, I studied at Nomen and I've, you know, I've always been into games. So I knew that I definitely wanted to work in games, um, but real-time visual effects weren't really something that I knew too much about. Like I didn't really know people doing it. So um, even though I loved the class, I, I kind of thought like, well, I don't know if that's right for me. And so I ended up doing environment art for a while. Um, but then in my first job out of school at this indie startup, they needed some real-time VFX work done. Um, so I said, sure, you know, like I've taken one class, <laughs> like I can give it a shot. And I mean, I just discovered that I absolutely loved it. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty much like, you know, that's, it's since, uh, from there, that's pretty much the whole story. So I joined Insomniac Games and, uh, that's where I got to work on Spider-Man and Miles Morales and Ratchet and Clank. And it's been fantastic. sometimes there's beautiful things you see in real life but a lot of what inspires me is uh other art that people have made in storytelling and entertainment so like movies or tvs or games or anime um especially if it's something that i haven't seen before that it's just you know you could tell they did this amazing job and uh like like the last thing for me i think was either the movie annihilation or sunshine like both of those, I came away from being like, holy shit, like those effects were amazing. And they, they had such emotional meaning in the story. And uh, they just made me want to make something like that looked like that. So that, you know, it ended up in inspiring some of my work at work. Things come to mind. Uh, the first one is that, you know, if you, if you really enjoy doing something, um, even if you can't really see yourself as doing that or being that kind of person, like that means you can do it. Um, which it, I guess it applies to me in real time VFX because I thought, oh, that's something that more technical people do or, you know, people who are really into hardcore STEM. And so it took me a while to um, really embrace the idea or like accept it. Like, no, I love it. This thing is for me. Um, and the, the other thing, which is kind of related, is that, uh, you know, throughout school, like, I thought of myself as like, oh, I'm an artist. So in like math and science classes, I'd always be drawing and not paying attention. And um, I think it's just like a really artificial divide between those two things that I, I wish someone told me that art, uh, that math and science, you know, you are going to use, you can use making art. And so they are super related and because um, that's stuff I, I use now. So I think that would have really helped me at the time.